Fixed it. Did that fix it? Let me I know. I hear you. Okay. All right. Now we have sound. Let me know if that's too loud. Huh. I can always adjust, adjust my volume. You sound good to me. I just want to make sure that I'm not blowing out the audience. And there's about a 15 second delay, so it'll take. If you can hear me, the audience probably can also. We'll just give it a second or two, and then I'll probably get confirmation. And of course, this is the absolutely most <laughs> most entertaining most entertaining format to hear a boomerish, a graying, a graying boomerish reader talking about making microphone adjustments. I, I really do have to go back sometime and edit out some of these. <laughs> some of these gaffes and these technical difficulties. I am going to see if I can figure out. Okay, but Claudia says, but video is choppy. Okay, that may be my fault. Let me see if I can improve that. Because I think I'm maxing out my memory. So let me see what I can close. And see if that helps. Let's see. Just to see if that makes a difference. Because I think I understand why it is choppy. Give me just a moment here. Oh, I should say, since we have, since we have Lady of Athelion was the first to log in and say hello, that is just perfect because she already has a title. So Lady of Athelion, <laughs> we pronounce you Lady of Athelion. <laughs> that was too easy. All right, let's see if that's getting better. See if there's anything else I can close out. I've got about a gazillion spreadsheets open, so that might that might be part of the problem. All right, we're still we're still going here. Let's see. Is there anything else I can close out? Yeah, we'll close out some stuff. We'll get there in a moment. How's everyone doing today? I think the Lester girls said they were back in. The Lester girls said they were back in. The kind. You know what? Let's see. Let me close out my browser altogether and see if that makes a difference. And again, my apologies. Let's see. Is that making a difference? Well, it should. Why is OBS Studio wanting to consume so much memory, though? That's, that's a little different. Let me know if the video does improve whatsoever. Oh, even Discord is taking up a... Yeah, Discord takes a ton. It's taking a draw amount, though. Hmm. It does that, yep. Let's see what else we can do. That's why I don't run it on my regular phone, because it would kill it instantly. Right, right, right. Let me see. That seems to be about as good as I can get, but maybe there's a few other things I can I can close down. Yeah, OBS Studio is just going nuts. Um, the the streaming software project I use is is just taking up like an incredible amount of memory. 
which is unusual. It's it's not usually that that memory intensive. <coughs> Let's see, what else can we do here? I'm sorry, gang. I know this is probably the last thing you want to see is <sighs> I don't want to restart anything else because that'll that'll be a mess. Let me open chat back up because I totally closed my browser window. Isn't this the best? <laughs> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <sighs> Let's see. We're going to need the script itself. And let's get back over to YouTube and let me know if the um, if the video if the video of me is just choppy. That's probably not a huge deal because I'm just a talking head here. The important thing is flashes aren't. Bear with me, just one more moment. I'm going to get the chat open back up, and we'll see how we're doing here. I'll get some feedback if the audio is good and. And Flash's art is good. Truthfully, that's that's really the only. Oh no! Flash, the aliens are sending transmissions. What's happening? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just thinking really hard. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Sound of oh, that's that's my computer, <laughs> my old 1973 mainframe. Maybe it's, that's what you need to do is change the magnetic tape. <laughs> I think so. The real, real back up. All right, Amy Just Lester says the video is frozen and hanging. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to close. I'm going to close my camera because that probably really doesn't matter. That's not that important. That's probably not that important. And then we'll just focus on... We'll just focus on Mr. Flash. We'll put him front and center. And <laughs> ah! No, too much. <laughs> too much. Okay. All right, Flash. Uh, can you put your paper down? I just want to see. I just want to see how that's gonna. I just want to see how it looks. Okay. It seems like on mine. Well, well, I'm I'm messing with your display. But it seems relatively okay. I think. Let's see. Maybe. Hopefully that improves. Just draw very slowly. <laughs> Just draw very slowly. All right. As long as the audio is good, as long as the audio is good, I think we'll be okay. All right. Definitely gonna. I will probably start chopping these intros out. I like interacting with the audience first. The video is stopped, but the audio is broadcasting without interruption. Okay, I, I, see, I see Flash doing stuff on my end. <laughs> All right, so we'll just keep a look. But hi, Melissa. Uh, hello, Arturo Trevino, Puy McCleary. All you lovely people. And the Lady of Athelion is the Lady of Athelion. With that said... Why don't we, why don't we jump back into the story? <laughs> oh no! A buzzard, a skeletal buzzard, has made an appearance, or a raven, perhaps. Is that the skeleton of a raven or a buzzard? It looks ravenish to me. All right, we are reading George MacDonald's Lilith. We are in chapter 44, The Waking. The fourth night I seemed to fall asleep, and that night woke indeed. I opened my eyes and knew, although it was dark around me, 
that I lay in the house of death, and that every moment since there I fell asleep I had been dreaming, and now first was awake. At last I said to my heart, and it leaped for joy. I turned my eyes. Lona stood by my couch waiting for me. I had never lost her, only for a little time lost the sight of her. Truly, I needed not have lamented her so sorely. It was dark, as I say, but I saw her. She was not dark. Her eyes shone with the radiance of the mother's, and the same light issued from her face. Not from her face only, for her death dress, filled with the light of her body, now tenfold awake in the power of its resurrection was white as snow and glistening. She fell asleep a girl. She woke a woman with the loveliness of the life essential. I folded her in my arms and knew that I lived indeed. All right, does anyone else see Elrond's drawing? Okay, huh. All right, so here's what